Great Britain's dominance of the Northwest fur trade begins with a most unlikely pair, two coureurs de bois, or French fur traders, Médard Chouard de Groseillers and his flamboyant brother-in-law, Pierre Esprit Radisson. It was my destiny to discover many wild nations. I will not strive against that destiny. For my own part, I will venture, choosing to die like a man and live like a beggar. Radisson is a free spirit. He was kidnapped by Mohawks as a teenager and adopted by one of their families. He went on hunts and war parties. He even survived torture. Once he escaped the captivity of the Mohawks, he was not going to be bound by the rules and regulations of New France. We were Caesars, there being nobody to contradict us. In the 1650s, New France relies on the fur trade with natives. Fortunes are made feeding Europe's craving for beaver felt hats. But the land to the west remains a mystery. Radisson and his brother-in-law want to expand the trade to the most distant Great Lake. We made our proposition to the governor of Quebec that we were willing to venture our lives for the good of the country and to go to travel to the remotest countries with two years. The authorities in New France don't trust Radisson. The governor insists he and de Groseillet take along two inexperienced functionaries as watchdogs. We made the governor a slight answer and told him for our part we knew what we were. Discoverers before governors. The governor was much displeased at this and commanded us not to go without his leave. To Radisson, such a command has the ring of a dare. In the dead of night, he and de Groseillet head out. They reach the shores of Lake Superior with winter approaching. Local natives tell them that if they wait until spring, they can join a great feast and trading ceremony. So they make camp for the winter. Food is so scarce, they eat bark, roots, even their own clothes. When spring finally arrives, so does the opportunity. Hundreds of natives from 18 nations gather for the traditional Feast of the Dead, and they welcome the French fur traders. We sang in our language as they in theirs, to which they gave great attention. We gave them several gifts and received many. They bestowed upon us above 300 robes of casters. The casters, or beaver pelts, are thick and lustrous. Radisson is told they come from northern rivers, and those rivers possibly lead to a great saltwater bay. The two coureurs de bois paddle home with the news of this rich, untapped source of furs and a possible supply route, certain they will get support for another expedition.